Hey there, my name's Anuki. If you're just starting out in Company of Heroes, this video is aimed at getting you from here to here. To some experienced players, some of these tips might seem slightly strange, but you can't learn how to play at this level until you've developed the prerequisite skills. So this broad quick tip video is aimed at getting you to the next level of ability in a few areas that beginner players often struggle with. And I'll be covering everything in more detail in the future here on Ironcast. This game has so much depth. I love this game and I really want you to enjoy it too. Which brings me into the first tip. Okay, the most important part for any new player is to find something fun. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you get better at the game as long as you enjoy yourself. You don't need to get better. Matchmaking is supposed to find players at your level of ability. So what faction do you like the look of? What playstyle appeals to you in your mind? Whether it's infantry, light vehicles, tanks or planes, there's a lot of worldy war -y options. For me, I'm a solid infantry player and I love developing my playstyle so that I can tackle almost all of my problems with infantry alone. You see, the cool thing with Company of Heroes is you don't need to win to have a cool battle. It's not about simply winning, but rather how I want to win. And I think that's one of the few good mentalities for going into competitive play is. Losing is okay because the firefights, explosions and flanking maneuvers, everything that happened in a match, I enjoyed being a participant. And even if I did lose, I lost the war, but I probably won some battles. Your tactical map, which is this view, tells you so much information about the battlefield. By default, it's map 2M, which is nowhere near your keyboard camera controls, whether you use arrows or WASD. It's going to take some figuring out, but put that tactical map somewhere near your camera controls and play around with the key bindings. I won't go into detail because it'll just take too long, uh, but this is the easiest way to improve your enjoyment and ability at the game. You're going to use Tactical Map so much. At the start of the game, it's important to get squads out the door. As soon as you have the manpower for a squad, they need to be training so they can be ready to capture territory. Keep making squads as soon as possible until you have between four and six. Don't worry about build orders too much as a beginner. Just worry about getting squads out so that they can capture territory. General rule, have four mainline infantry squads with two others being machine guns, snipers, engineers, all that kind of stuff. Buy quickly. Don't have floating manpower. If you've got an extra 50 manpower above the squad that you intend to buy, your unit is coming out later and that delays territory capture. At the start of the game, select a squad and hold down the shift button and right click on points to queue up multiple commands to capture territory. You can queue up commands on the minimap so you don't have to pan the camera around. Uh, the tactical map isn't working right now, but in the future you should be able to cure commands and capture territory like this too. The squads will execute these commands in order, this way they aren't idling around waiting for a real-time command from you. You probably already know, but there are three types of cover. Green or heavy cover. Yellow or light cover, red or negative cover, and there's also no cover at all. Does that count as four? Watch two mainline infantry squads fight each other in heavy cover and that battle can go on for way over a minute or two, sometimes even longer. So select your infantry squad and right click and drag to get your squad on the correct side of cover and facing the threat just like the tutorial. But here's something the tutorial doesn't mention. Units have all kinds of stats. Typically they are more accurate when stationary and less accurate when moving. 
Some units are more accurate at range, typically rifles, and units with fast firing SMGs are better up close and don't lose as much accuracy when firing on the move. If that sounded like a lot to remember, then forget it all. All you need to know is that if you are in heavy cover and the enemy has to charge over no man's land to get to you, you have the positional advantage. Not necessarily the unit advantage, but that's for another video. Oh yeah, and then there's buildings too, which you can't be suppressed in. Those count as heavy cover, but buildings are kind of complicated. That's for another time too. Using cover is important to keep your units alive. The enemy will be trying that too. You can negate that cover by flanking. So for example, these two squads are in cover, but by moving this squad around here, our squad still has cover, but the enemy squad does not. This is what makes Comedy of Heroes awesome. It's a constant, ever-changing, dynamic struggle. Keep your enemy focused on your squad in heavy cover whilst you move another squad around the side, but be ready to reposition your own troops when you're being flanked. The winner is the person who doesn't have to retreat. There are two main flaws with keeping your units balled up like this. Firstly, they'll be suppressed together. A single machine gunner can suppress many squads. Secondly, random artillery is probably going to destroy them. Or a mine. Or a bombing run. Whereas if you have your infantry like this, they're less likely to be destroyed by a single thing happening. And it looks good! Keeping your squads alive is extremely important. Use the tactical map to see if any squads are low health. You can retreat from the tactical map too, or you can go to the location, look at the situation, and decide if you need to retreat or just fall back. Alternatively, you can double click on these unit icons to go to their location. When you retreat a squad, they will automatically reinforce at base. And as soon as the squads are fully recovered, you need to be sending them out on a mission. The tactical map once again will prove a useful tool in showing idle troops stationed at your base awaiting your orders. You want to avoid situations where you find a blob of soldiers at your headquarters, and you will find that by following the tips in this video, this will occur less often, though it still happens from time to time. Support teams like snipers, machine guns, and mortars can be hard to micro, but don't treat these units like they're solo units. Instead, pair them up with an infantry squad. It's easier for our brains to consider this as an infantry squad with a sniper than an infantry squad and a sniper. You'll find by thinking of them in this way, you will use them more, move them around the map more, and get more use out of them. Dealing with armor can be tricky, and here's the easiest rule that I could create to help new players deal with armor. It's the rule of twos. Don't try to kill armor with any one thing. Combine two things instead. Uh, this can be an AT grenade and an AT rifle, or a light tank with a bazooka squad. With two units that can hurt tanks, you can try to position yourself to get flanking shots. You don't need to kill everything. Even if you don't kill a tank, if you just force it back, then that's still a victory. You've applied pressure on your enemy. Good job! Well, vehicles can't retreat, but they do reverse, which is on the same hotkey binding as retreat. So, if you've mastered pressing retreat on your keyboard, simply do the same on your tank and click where you want it to retreat to. Oh, and in most cases, try to have infantry to the side or in front of your tanks. And something really cool is when tanks stop moving, you can use them as heavy cover. And this last tip is an old Company of Heroes proverb. Mines win games. 
we will look into this more, but do consider placing some mines in choke points and on strategic points of value. They almost always get triggered. All right, there's loads more tips in the future, but this video has become too long. Why don't you share some tips in the comments? What do you think would be valuable to a new player trying to start their journey in 1v1s? What should they know? If you're interested in playing Comedy of Heroes 3 or being a part of an inclusive community, maybe learning the game, I'd love to teach you, show you around, maybe even cast your games. Join the Ironcast Discord and help create that community. Look out for more Comedy of Heroes 3 videos in the future. Subscribe to the channel, share your thoughts in the comments, kick some butt, preferably give someone a compliment and make their day. My name's Anuki, and I hope to see you soon.